Get ready, buckle your seats for the fastest variety show on television. It's... Girls start screaming, here's Vinny, and do you love him? Look at that, his name up in lights. You like Vinny or something, do you? Hey? Well, see, there's a reason why we love Vinny, because not only is he a good singer... Yeah. ...and a good dancer... Yeah. ...fantastic-looking fella... Yeah. ...charming, lovable... Yeah. ...easily embarrassed... Yeah. <laughs> ...he's a great cook... He's, he really is a good cook and, a, of course, a wonderful musician as well. How's your, your drum playing going? Mm, not too bad. How's yours, John? Oh, I actually, I haven't drummed for a while. You, you, you want to have a practice? OK. Let's have a practice. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. How's yours? Yours in tune?
Not Tagliata. <laughs> we'll be back with more Young Teletime Madness in a minute. Let's hear it for Vinny. Not Tagliata. Let's go shaking McDonald's or I'm making a tropical delight, baby. It's shaking Sunday. Everybody, and now something with a little bit of Spanish flavor as Juanita and Joey sing Chiquiquita. <laughs> sleep by. <laughs> no, si, like a, yeah, si, senor. Andale, andale. That's what they put under the carpet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, andale. Exactly. <laughs> on, a, on a serious note, we're going to have some fun right now. That was terrific, kids, by the way. Enjoyed that a lot. Did you like that? Nice ever song. <laughs> we're, uh, we're privileged again tonight to have Dr. Ian Dixon with us, who's going to do some fabulous things in chemistry. So, kids, this is for you to learn from. Here comes Dr. Ian. Good day. Tonight we're going to look at theatre and theatrical smoke and how we make it and everything. But Courtney was going to help me. Where are you? Where? Are... Ah. Okay. No, she is. I need. <laughs> I need Courtney's experience in the theatre. Now you know lots of things about smoke, don't you? Yeah, we use it all the time. You use it all the time. Now there's two types, isn't there? What types are there? There's smelly smoke, smelly sp smoke, strawberry, and that. And you've got smoke that's sort of just the plain smoke, which really smells yucky. So you've and but one smoke goes up, doesn't it? Yeah. And one smoke goes down. Um, so we're going to look at those two different types. First of all, we're going to have a look at smoke that goes up. Now. This is how we make the smoke that goes up. Do you want to? Now, uh, come around here so everybody can see out the front. Now, uh, 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 not so keen. No. Now, what we do is that we've got here, that's the stuff that we make the smoke out of, mm -hmm. and it comes down through there and it goes onto a hot element. 
then when we press this button, it squirts on that element and it produces smoke. So why don't you have a go? Just press that button. Yes! <laughs> do you want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's warm smoke and it goes up into the air. Now the other smoke, the other smoke is made out of carbon dioxide. Now what do you know about carbon dioxide? Um, it's colourless and it's heavier than air. Yeah, it's colourless and heavier than air and it's a part of the atmosphere and it's a gas. But right. any gas, if we compress or squeeze any gas down or cool it right down, we'll finish up with a solid. Now. This is solid carbon dioxide. It's and what's very that? Very hot. It's very cold because we oh, need to cool it right down. So we make sure that it's nice and cold. And it goes into a solid. Now it's turning into a gas. And color, carbon dioxide is colourless. Colourless and it's heavier than air. And it's heavier than air. So if we put this in some water, we'll be able to see, we'll be able to see the actual bubbles wow. coming off. Now what do you notice up the top? Well, all the smoke's coming up from yes, the bottom. But you, the bottom. Yes, so we, we can actually produce smoke by putting dry ice or carbon dioxide, solid carbon dioxide yeah. into water. Now, if we just come here, we, this is heavier than air, so we can actually pour this all over you, although it's a bit drafty here. Uh. So we can pour it all over the top of you. But, for example, if we're in the Johnny Young show, we don't want Johnny Young crawling around on his hands and knees pouring this all over the stage because there's just not enough. So what we do, we make it in a big machine. machine. You've heard all about it. Yeah. And the machine is just made out of a great big tank like this fish tank and we put hot water in it. We've coloured it green just because we're on television. And what we do is that we take a whole lot of this carbon dioxide. You just watch. A whole lot of this carbon dioxide, and we put it in a, a, a Luigi fish and chips basket. So now we can now we can produce lots of it, but we can turn it on and off. So when I want to produce lots of it, I put it in here, and I get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And when I want to turn it off, I just take it out. And carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so it stays in there and doesn't sneak all over the place. But if we if we put it in there and we want lots and lots and lots, we can do lots of good things. We can appear up behind it, or we can run through it, can't we? We can run through the smoke, <laughs> backwards and forwards. You can run through the smoke too, beaut. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we produce lots and lots and lots of this smoke. And all it is is produced from carbon dioxide, nice solid carbon dioxide, so that when you see the smoke being produced on television again, you'll know where it's come from. And you will know as well. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ian. <laughs> this, I bet they used a lot of this in the, in the thriller film clip for Michael Jackson. Oh, for sure. And Peeps. speaking of Michael Jackson, don't forget our Michael Jackson competition. We want the name of that album. Am I supposed to know it? And we'll be announcing the winner shortly. <laughs> it might even be too late for the entries. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, Dr. Ian Dixon. And we'll be back shortly with your request on Young Talent Time. Sunday, 6.30. I just had a phone call from our executive, executive producer. Hey, no talking while I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in serious trouble with Juanita here. Right? Yeah, give him a hard time. I'm in serious trouble. Our executive, executive producer just called me and said, you know the Michael Jackson competition is already open. What are you doing talking about it? And I said, listen, I'm very sorry because I'm just silly. Oh, yeah, so my apologies for uh, all of... And congratulations, of course, to... Uh, to all of you who entered, because I'm sure it was a lot of fun. I love Michael Jackson's new album. Yeah, it's mad, terrific. Um, bad. Have you ever seen a phone like this? No. 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 This, it's a, it's a robot phone. Hang on, why am, so why do I do that? I haven't even dialed the number. You hang on to that. Okay. Look, and it opens up in the front here, and then you have, you, you push the numbers on there, and then you can talk to people. And it's a real phone, you can have it next to your bed. You watch how it works. Here, I've got the number. Yep. 
We are calling John McIntosh, who's 11 years, and that's the number over yeah. there. Can you see it? Okay, here. There. Great. Jason McIntosh, who's 11 years old, and he lives in Victoria. This is a telecom announcement. <laughs> 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 Temporarily disconnected, or is not yet available. <laughs> <laughs> I think you must. Day. I'm sorry, dear. Oh, they can't talk back, can they? No. Okay, can we dial it again? Okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was great. Oh, happy time. Hello. 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 Is this telecom? Yeah, I think so. No, it's not Telecom. Is that Jason McIntosh? Yeah. Hi, Jason. This is Johnny Young from Young Talent Time. How are you doing? Oh, good. That's good. Let's have a look at his picture again, right? Good-looking young fella. Mm -hmm. Hey, say hello to him. Hi, Jason. Oh, good day. Hi, Jason. Hi. How are you? Good. Would you That's like good. a date with Juanita? No. Oh, no! No, thanks. Oh, he's a good oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you interested in boys? You can have him. Oh, okay. oh that's not... Jason. Yeah? You're great, mate. She's a bit silly like that. She doesn't believe in boyfriends yet. Yeah, I know. She's going to get married when she's 40, yeah? <laughs> Jason, who's your favourite on Young Talent Time? Oh, Danny. Danny. <laughs> that figures. Here comes Danny, and Danny's got a great song for you called What's My Scene. Thanks for your request, Jason. OK. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Old from New South Wales, here is Bevan and Courtney and Six Ribbons.
thank you, Bevan. And now we travel to Ballarat for Scott Rolston, who's nine years old, who's requested the team to sing Respect Yourself. Ending story in the adventure for all ages from Milton Bradley. Stripe jumper on. Hi, what's your name? Angie. Cute smile, Angie. You got a cute gag too? Um, why did the lady why did the lady ghost enter a beauty contest? I don't know. Why did the lady ghost enter a beauty contest? Why didn't the lady ghost enter the I don't know, why didn't the lady ghost enter the beauty contest? She knew she wouldn't have a ghost of a chance. Yeah, not bad, you 
you can have a copy of our Young Talent Time, Young Talent Team Phenomena album for that. And you, have you got a gag too? Okay, stand up. What you, you got glitter in your hair. Funky. What's your, what's your name? Lisa. Lisa, what's your giggle? Um, what did Michael Jackson say to his son when the, his car broke down? I didn't know Michael Jackson had a son, but what did Michael Jackson say to his son when the car broke down? Go and get the jack, son. <laughs> Did you know I was the teacher's pet? Why? Couldn't she afford a dog? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, stand up, sweetheart. What's your name? Rachel. Rachel, watch your little giggle. Why did the Egyptian girl cry? Why did the Egyptian girl cry? Because her mummy was a daddy. Her da <laughs> her mommy was a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's the young talent time game for you. You did very well. You'll enjoy that. That's a lot of fun. Last giggle. What's yours, young man? Oh, what's your name first? Christopher. Christopher, what's your giggle for everybody around Australia? What did what did the Martian say when he landed on a flower? I don't know. What did the Martian say when he landed on a flower? Take me to your weeder. <laughs> Good. Well done. A young talent time record for you. Okay. While you're still in a happy mood, here's a young lady who was in our Young Talent Time talent quest, and we certainly hope you've enjoyed that again this year with us. And she's with us tonight as a super special guest. She's a terrific young lady with a lot of magical fun. Please welcome Wendy Bergen from Queensland. Here's Wendy. Thanks, Scotty. Hi, I'm Commander Wendy Bergen from the Starship Illusion, and I've come down to Earth to see how smart you Earthlings really are. And I've brought with me Kick, sorry, my sidekick with me to help you. We've also got with us some kobold Martians. Yeah. Now, these Martians are going to determine whether you are a smart race. Now, here we go. Now, they've got very strange names. This is blue and this is red. Very, very strange. Now, they're going to try and trick you with this little spaceship. Now watch this, if the spaceship as, is at Blue's place, then all I have to say to you to test you is, where is the spaceship? In the blue or in the red? In the red! In the red! No, see, they tricked you already! Ha ha! Bad go, Earthling, so where do you think it is? In the blue! No, see, it's vanished! Ha! You want me to open both the doors? Yeah. Yeah. Affirmative. Here we go, opening both the doors. Here's the blue, here's the red, and it's vanished. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting some more telepathic thoughts. Let me think. You want me to open both the doors at once? Yeah. Oh, OK, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Are you Earthlings sure you want to see it? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Are you Earthlings really sure? Yeah. Okay. Shaking McDonald's are a Tonight, following Young Talent Time. Double won't have it all on their own. Get ready for the $10,000 second semi final of It's a Knockout. Look, this is desperation stakes for the other team. They've got to win this one. Each state will be pulling out all stops to make it into the Super Grand Final. Ricky, that's what they call a 12 point landing. Special guest referee Ricky May joins Billy and Fiona for the second semi final of It's a Knockout. Here's Queensland, not too far behind. Billy and Fred, but Victoria. 7.30 tonight on Channel 10.
okay, okay. So I got caught eating my ice cream. Okay, okay, don't pick on me. You want a bite, Kelly? This is Ross Burton's beautiful little daughter. And if Vicky gets out of the way of the camera, then Ray can take a shot of her. They can... <laughs> Go on, have a bite of my ice cream. Then I won't get picked on. You want a bite? I'll have a little more health move. Yeah? Yeah. You want some? Yes. Yeah. No? I will. Yes. Well, you won't get bit. Yes. You go on. Yeah, I will. I will. Yes. This is Courtney's sister. <laughs> Just filling in time so I can eat my ice cream. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, Ray. Here you go. I'm finished now. Almost. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you believe in, in, what do you believe? Do you believe in beings from outer space? Yes. Do you, do you believe, do you believe that out there somewhere there's, there's people with one eye and green monsters on Mars and all that stuff? No. You don't? Well, we, we sent our uh, young talent, to <laughs> there's one. We sent our young talent time discoverers out into the never never to find out if there really is life in outer space. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is exciting stuff. You know, sometimes I feel a bit closed in. Problems, different stuff going on. But when I take a look outside, especially at night, wow, there's a whole huge universe out there. Makes me and my problems seem pretty small. Zillions of billions of squillions of stars. And believe me, that's a lot. Let's take a closer look at them. I wonder if anyone lives out there on another planet. People have been asking that question for a real long time. Why 100 years ago they built this 8-inch telescope to peep into outer space. On a clear night you can see the moons of Jupiter, the rings of Saturn, the ice caps of Mars and even distant galaxies. Cosmic. Our latest hopes of extraterrestrial life finding us lies with the spacecraft Voyager. Right now it's flying through our solar system into deep space. It's already past the planets Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. On the side of the craft there's a space map showing Earth, so any aliens can dig where it's coming from. Any creatures from outer space can also groove to a digitally recorded soundtrack built into the Voyager plaque. We'll play various songs, messages and sounds from Earth, including a dog barking and Chuck Berry's hit, Johnny Be Good. Aliens will probably love rock and roll, and they'll probably look like this. Johnny Jupiter, Galactic Greg, and Cosmic Courtney. Hello. Is there anybody out there? Yoo-hoo. Spacemen. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. And now, here are Natalie and the Young Talent Team calling occupants.
Sunday, 6.30. Buddy... stuff, wasn't it? That outer space yeah. thing and Natalie's song. Beautiful. Yeah. Done. Ah, oh, director Ray Belcher is very clever. You know, the team, as you see each week, they're great performers and they sing and they dance and they do some comedy skits, but that's not where their talent ends. For instance, Vinny Del Tito <laughs> has more goals than just to be a performer. He also wants to produce music, and over the last few years of Young Talent Time, he's been spending a lot of time with Ross Burton and Greg Mills from our musical department, learning how to write and produce songs, and tonight he's going to do the lot for you. So let's take a look where it all began in Vinny's preparation for his closing song on Young Talent Time tonight. Once the, the notes have been written, which he does sort of in his head, they need to be transformed into music which involves lots of things. Like he has to meet the musicians to make sure that the sound is correct. I need something more wild, more screams. More screams. More screams, okay. yeah. You want more is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. And going down, going down, like slowing down, yeah, stuff like that. So animal sound. Animal sound. <laughs> And now begins the electronic programming of some of the sections of the music, such as bass and drums. And then with a few final checks of the charts to see if it's okay, Sam, our audio engineer, checks the audio level of the instruments and the vocals, and Vince has a practice run through. And then Ross okay, Burton Ross takes over and so finally easy. makes it all happen. Good one. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Eye contact. Okay, everybody got their music to eye contact, please? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, let's do it. What kind of tempo is it, Vinny? Um, one, two, nine. It's pretty. Okay. Yep. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Monday. Did you get a note warm? Yes, now. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Have a look at this. Can you can you reach there? Maybe you can. It's a flame. It's a beauty, look. It's so cute. You do it by remote control. That's that's what we're like after we do the show on Saturday. Yeah. We don't know which way we're facing, do we? Hey. Oh, no. Hey Vinny, that was mighty. Thank you, John. Yeah. I love that. Did you like that closing game? Also, a very special thanks to Dr. Ian Dixon for another bit of terrific chemistry, and I learned a lot that was clever, wasn't yeah. it? All the television stuff. Yeah. Thanks to Wendy Bergen for some really nice Queensland-style juggling. Yeah. And also thanks to Vinny for a, a terrific bit of fun on the show tonight. Hey, next week, you don't want to be missing the show because it's our last live program for the year, and so don't miss it because we've got some very special surprises for you, OK? And I'll pretend that I'm missing all those lips that I'm kissing. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Danny. And I hope that your dreams, Good night, Frank, do all come true. Good night, Courtney. And then, well, good night, Natalie. I love that Out of Space song. It was just beautiful. I'll ride home. Good night, Juanita and Chiquiquita. <laughs> And I uh, said, good night, Ben, good night, Danny, good night, Mark. Good night, Do you? And on behalf of our sponsors, McDonald's, and all of the Young Talent team, we'll see you next week, Australia. Bye for now.